Good day learners and welcome to today's video in which we are going to continue our series on percentages but now we're looking at calculating the percentage of two values. So a typical example would be something like old John and John writes a test. John writes a let's say a math test or a science test and he gets 24 out of 35 but he wants to know you know as, as, as nice as that sounds he wants to know what the percentage actually is. Okay, so to do that, we know with percent, we've got to multiply by 100. Now, in the previous video where we calculated with one percentage, we had like three different methods of doing this. We're going to show you a very simple method uh, of now doing this. And all we're going to do is we're going to take 24. So in other words, the top number, we're going to divide that by whatever it is out of, which is 35. We're going to get that answer. And then whatever that answer is, we are going to then multiply that by 100. Okay, and that'll give us around 69%. So let's just take another example. Um, let's go with someone getting 37 out of 45. So what do we do? We are going to take the 37, whatever that number is, divide that by whatever it's out of which is 45. We want to get that answer first and then multiply that by 100. And in this case, we'll get 55%. And that should sort everything out. And that's how we are then able to do this. However, I know for grade 11s, they can bring in something different. So let's just have a look at that quickly. Now with grade 11s, they can give you a scenario like this. Um, and they can ask, well, what percentage is 40 grams of one kilogram? So we've seen this when it comes to calculating the percentage of one value. But the difference here now is that you've got two different forms of measurement. OK, these are grams and these are kilograms. So the first thing you need to do is just get the two into the same unit of measurement. So we'll go 40 grams and we're going to convert our one kilogram into grams, which is going to be a thousand grams. OK, so that's one of the first things you're going to do. So now how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to take our 40 grams. We're going to divide it by the thousand grams and then multiply it by 100. Now we've got our two values. We multiply it by 100 and we end up getting our answer of 4%. So remember, we can do it this way as well. Get that answer first, multiply it by 100, and we'll still get our 4%. So you can see um, just a slight difference when it comes to the grade 11s, that there'll be, you know, sometimes the, the, the two values that you are given are in different units of measurement so please get them to the same unit of measurement first and then you can go and multiply 100 uh, by 100 and you'll get your answer